everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial from Leviathan. Yes, we are here, we are back with the Winged Tyranid Prime. Here it is. It's awesome. It's massive. It's a big, 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 big boy. And, well, Games Workshop were very kind enough to send me the Leviathan box to build up and paint for all of you, and that is exactly what we are doing. So we are going to be painting him up today in the colours of the High Fleet Leviathan and... He has been primed in Wraithbone. So we're going to just jump in and start painting him. And the colour we're going to be using first is Dark Oath Flesh. And we're going to be applying this over the top of our Tyranid Prime's wing membranes. Just like this. So we're looking for a nice smooth finish here. So just use these big broad brush strokes. Don't overload your brush too much here. And then once this is done, we'll come back. So with that dark oath flesh all applied, what we're now going to do is going to take a roughly three parts Lamy and medium to one part Caraba crimson mix. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of our flesh. But we're also going to apply this over the top of the wings. However, we're not going to do the whole of the wings. We want to do a little bit of blending, which is quite early in the process for doing so. But it'll make sense. So if you look at the box art, we've got this really nice kind of blended into a ready pink effect that's going on. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get this all over this section. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of that kind of bit of the wing membrane in there. And then over about half of the wing, I'm going to apply this like that. We're then going to wash the brush and then. We're just going to smooth out that drying line, that transition there. So we're starting that off quite early. So we do the same thing here. Wash the brush. Smooth it out. Come all the way down the outside. I'm going to do that bit as well. Wash the brush and then smooth it out. And then we're just going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing on the inside. So with that Caribou Crimson and Lamia Medium mix applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take Caribou Crimson on its own. And we're going to apply this over the top of the wings, again just doing a little bit of blending. And what you'll see, this will be a lot more stronger now. However, we're still going to just kind of lift off that excess. So we're going to apply 
Caribou Crimson like this over about half the wing like that we're going to wash the brush and then we're going to smooth out that transition just like that So with that now done, we're now going to go back the other way along the spines and we're going to use some Magos Purple for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up to around about there on each of the spines with Magos Purple, wash the brush. And then we're going to smooth out the transition. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Luxion Purple. I'm going to apply this around the tips of the wings. I'm going to bring this along that kind of first segment. Wash the brush. And then once again just smooth it out just a little bit. Just like this. So with that now done, we're gonna take a roughly two parts Lamia medium to one part Blood Angels red mix. And we're gonna apply this over the top of the wings, just towards the bottom third, like that. We're then gonna wash the brush And then gonna once again for the last time smooth it out just like that so with that now done we can move on from the wings at long last but they're looking pretty awesome so the thing we're gonna move on to is some volupus pink I'm gonna be applying this into all of the really soft bits in all the joints of our tuned prime.
So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some wraith bone and we're going to dry brush this over the top of all of the flesh. And we're going to be quite gentle. I'm going to build this up slowly. Just like this. Now when it comes to the wings, we only want to dry brush this along our really pale parts. And then on the wings itself, you want to be very, very gentle here. So with that done, we can now finally move on to something that isn't skin. And the thing we're gonna move on to is all of the black details. So the color we're gonna be using is Black Legion. And we're gonna be using this to pick out any talons and claws. Scattered around the model. So with all that Black Legion now applied, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Shaiish Purple and Leviathan Purple. And we're gonna apply this over the top of all of the chitinous armor. So with that purple all applied, we're now gonna take some Eandon yellow, and we're gonna apply this over the top of the eyes. And with that now done, we're going to take some Doomfire Magenta and we're going to apply this over the top of the tongue.
And for our final base coat, we're going to once again take some Caraberg Crimson. I'm going to apply this over the top of the teeth. So with that done, our winged Tyranid Prime is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And he's looking pretty fabulous. However, we're not going to leave him there. No, we're going to take him to the next level. We're going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, the first one of these is going to be some thinned down Kislev flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight both the wings and our large... The lupus pink fleshy sections. So we're just going to use this Kislev flesh first of all. pick out all the folds in the wings like that and then similarly on our large sections of the lupus pink So with that now done, we're going to take some thin down Sotec Green. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our black details. So with that done, just whilst we're waiting for all of that Sotec green to dry, we're going to take a teeny tiny little bit of Flash Kits yellow. I'm going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs. Like that. And similarly, we're going to take some Screaming Skull, I'm going to apply this to the teeth. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to do the next longest highlight, and that is going to be some thinned down Gene Stealer Purple. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our purple Chitin. Just like that sort of thing. But what we're also going to do is on the flat open spaces, we're going to draw those oh so famous little lines. like this sort of thing. So with that now done, we're going to take some thinned down Gorse Blaster Green. I'm going to use this to add some little spot highlights to the sharp points on all the black.
And so with that nail done, we're gonna finish things off with a very gentle dry brush of full grim pink across all of the purple. And so with the base complete, the winged Tyranid Prime is now finished. And I think he's an absolutely fantastic addition to the Tyranids range. And he can be attached to a unit of warriors or gargoyles, which is very cool, very interesting. Might have to pick up some gargoyles to accompany him because got to make a good advantage of that movement characteristic, right? And also, he's just pretty cool. Really like him and a very, very suitable leader for the forces of Leviathan. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you, whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful, amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.